In this lesson, we'll be learning about number sets and the number line. First, let's look at three number sets, natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. I'm going to show you these sets of numbers on a number line. Watch this. This is a number line. A point on this line can represent a number. Let's place this point here. We'll call this point zero on the number line. On the number line, numbers get larger going to the right. So all the numbers to the right of point zero will be greater than zero. Numbers get smaller going to the left. So all the numbers to the left of point zero will be less than zero. The set of natural numbers contains all the positive counting numbers. The set of whole numbers contains all the positive counting numbers and zero. The set of integers contains positive and negative counting numbers and zero. So the natural number set is a subset of the whole number set, and both of these sets are subsets of the integer set. Let's practice with numbers on the number line. What do you think? Number one. Which point is zero on the number line? You decide and we'll show you the correct point in a few seconds. Zero is less than three, so it's to the left of three on the number line. Number two. Which point is six on the number line? Six is greater than negative five and less than seventeen. So it is to the left of 17 and to the right of negative 5 on the number line. Number 3. Which point is negative 3 on the number line? Negative 3 is greater than negative 4, so it's to the right of negative 4 on the number line. Now we'll learn about rational numbers. The rational number set contains the integer set, plus all the fractions in between the integers. Fractions look like this. Negative one-fourth, one-half, negative three-eighths, two-thirds. The top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. The numerator and denominator are integers. Fractions can also be written in decimal form. For example, negative one-fourth equals negative point two five and one-half equals point five. In decimal form, rational numbers either terminate or repeat. For example, the fraction seven-eighths terminates when it's in decimal form. To get a fraction in decimal form, divide the numerator seven by the denominator eight. Let's try it now. Seven divided by eight. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Subtract. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract. 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. Our remainder is 0, which terminates our division. Now let's look at a repeating decimal. The fraction 1 third repeats when it's in decimal form. To get this fraction in decimal form, Divide the numerator 1 by the denominator 3. Let's try it. 1 divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract. Our remainder is always 1, so this is a repeating decimal. What do you think? Each number is a member of one or more number sets. To which number sets does 0 belong? You decide, and we'll show you in a few seconds. 0 is a whole number. Remember, whole numbers are all the positive numbers and zero. 
Since the whole number set is part of the integer and rational number sets, then zero is an integer and a rational number. To which number sets does 122 belong? 122 is a natural number. Natural numbers are all positive numbers. Since the natural number set is a part of the whole, integer, and rational number sets, then 122 is also a whole number, an integer, and a rational number. To which number sets does negative one-tenth belong? Negative one-tenth is not an integer, so it's not a natural or whole number either. Negative one-tenth is a member of the rational number set. Let's do a few more. To which number sets does the repeating decimal 1.333 belong? You decide and we'll show you in a few seconds. The repeating decimal 1.333 is not an integer, so it's not a natural or whole number either. 1.333 is a member of the rational number set. To which number sets does negative 39 belong? Negative 39 is not a whole number, since whole numbers are all the positive numbers and zero, so it's not a natural number either. Negative 39 is an integer and a rational number. To which number sets does two-sevenths belong? Two-sevenths is not an integer, so it's not a natural or whole number either. Two-sevenths is a member of the rational number set. An irrational number is a decimal number that does not terminate or repeat. These numbers cannot be written as a fraction of two integers. Here are some examples of irrational numbers. The irrational number set is separate from the rational number set. The last number set we will introduce is the real number set. The real number set is just the combination of the rational and irrational number sets. Visit our website, www.highschoolelearning.com, for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.